how to access and use Google Gemini. Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can access and use the Google's new AI that is Gemini. So in order to access it, you'll have to first of all open any browser on your PC or your mobile phone. So open any browser and simply go to the search bar and type in Gemini AI. Then hit enter. Now you'll have to click on the first link that is gemini.google.com. So click on the first link and now you'll be on Gemini's homepage. So click on chat with Gemini and click on more. Make sure you scroll at the bottom of this page and click on I agree. Now click on continue and here we are on gemini.google.com slash application and this is how the Google's new Gemini AI is looking like. That is the upgraded version of Bard AI. So here you can see this is the latest updates and that's the way you can access this Google's Gemini. Now if you want to learn how to use it, you'll have to simply come here and place your cursor under enter a prompt here and simply type in make me learn how to use Gemini and hit enter. So you can see it's giving us a quick guide on how to use Gemini. Accessing Gemini. So there are two main ways to access Gemini. The first is visiting this website that is https colon slash slash gemini.google.com slash and sign in with your Google account and this is the free version called Gemini Pro. And the second one is Google Workspace integration and this one is the paid version of Google Gemini. Now using the interface, once you would have accessed your Gemini, you will see a large text box that is this text box where you can type your questions or prompt and Gemini will simply answer that question or follow your prompts in order to give you an accurate answer. Now you can also choose from suggested prompts displayed below the text box and in the top left corner, you will see a drop down menu that is the collapse menu. When you click on it, you will see new chat, recent chats help activity and settings. So if you click on new chat, this will open up a new chat and here you can enter a new prompt. This is basically a new tab that opens up in a browser. It's similar to that. And if you would want to access your recent chat, you'll have to simply click on this recent chat and this will open up your recent chat. As you can see, I had asked Gemini to show me how to use it. And if you would want any help, click on help and you will have the option to access the privacy hub, updates, help, fact and about Gemini advanced. If you want to see the activity, click on activity and you'll be promoted to this page. Here you can delete your Gemini's app history. You can select whether you want to turn it on or off or delete all the activities you would have on your Gemini. Now close this out and click on settings. After you click on settings, you can choose whether you want to add the extension of Google Gemini, you want the public link for Gemini, the theme that you want for Gemini, for example, if you want to switch it to light theme, you can turn this dark theme off and it will be set at light theme. You can turn the dark theme on just by toggling this switch on. And you can also choose whether you want real time responses or not. And if you want to learn how to use Gemini in detail, you can come here and ask make me learn how to use Gemini, give it a prompt and it will show you all the ways through which you can use Gemini. So the simple way is entering a prompt here and hitting the enter button. You can also click on use microphone and do a speech to text search or you can also click on upload image and upload an image to do a search. And that's the simple way through which you can access and use Google's Gemini. Hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you in the next video.